Are you looking into integrating the capabilities of a large language model in your WebRTC application? Hey everyone, this is Hector from WebRTC Ventures, and in today's video, we will not only dive into the details of doing such a thing, but also how to do it in real time. Let's get started. LLMs are the new hot topic in the tech industry and everyone wants to have these in their application. Use cases goes from providing in-call assistance to contact center agents or performing post-call analysis, to even power voice bots that are capable of answering calls without any human intervention. So we will explain how to perform this integration using Nebula, a powerful LLM from our partner, Symbol AI, that's still in beta. However, the concepts are applicable to whichever model you prefer. LLMs mostly understand text. So the first thing you need to do is to transcribe the audio stream in your application. To do so, since we are already using Nebula, we use Symbol AI Streaming API in the example. But you can choose any service that provides a similar feature. Next, you send the transcripts to the LLM and add its responses to your application as you receive them. So let's go step by step. To send audio streams to Symbol AI Streaming API and receive transcript, you use a WebSocket connection. Therefore, the first step is to initialize such a connection, adding the required values, a connection ID and the access token for Symbol AI. Then you need to define handler functions for each of the events of the connection. It's worth mentioning that if your application manages multiple types of user transcripts differently, for instance, agents and users in this case, this is the perfect place to set such a type. To handle a transcript, the first thing you need to do is to parse the response from the transcription service, and then check if a transcription is available. For Symbol AI, we do this by checking the type of the message and also by looking for the punctuated attribute. We then get the content and store it where appropriate depending on your application logic. In this example, we use Next.js and React. So we store it in the state of the component using functions from the useState hook. One interesting thing is this variable. What it does is that it delays sending the transcript to the LLM for a specified time, defined by this user speech inactivity interval variable, which we clear each time the handler is called. That way, we detect when a user has stopped talking and therefore we know we can send the transcript. Once we have a transcript, it's time to send all the relevant messages to the LLM and manage its response. When sending the messages to the LLM, it's useful to use a board controller to have control over the running operations in case we need to stop them for whatever reason. The next step is to build a message and send it to the LLM along with the prompt. Be sure to use an appropriate prompt that fits your use case. The interesting part here is the use of the streaming endpoint from the Nebula LLM, which returns the response as it is being generated. This allows us to add such a response in real time to the application. For processing the response, we use an instance of text decoder stream to access it. Then, using a while statement, we consume the stream until it finishes, at which time we add the final message to our local storage layer. And in the meantime, we parse the result and render it on the screen as we are receiving it. At the end of the day, Integrating an LLM into a real-time communication application, it's a matter of first, convert the audio input into text 
using a speech-to-text mechanism like Symbol AI Streaming API, and then fed the resulting transcripts along with an appropriate prompt into the LLM. In order to have the LLM responses in real time in your application, the important thing is that you consume such a response as a stream, so you can process it as it is being generated. If you're looking into integrating an LLM with your real-time communication application or building one from scratch, at WebRTC Ventures, we are experts at building high-quality real-time communication applications that integrate with large language models. Contact us to know more about our services at webrtc.ventures slash contact. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn as webrtc.ventures and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more WebRTC tips. Let's make it live!